right, good morning. Today is Wednesday, July, what is it? July 8th. And I have been gone for quite a while, so I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. And as you can see my screen now, I'm trading the E-mini S&P 500, first time in about two weeks. As you all know, I've been on vacation with the family, and so I am back and ready to go. Uh, I've been back mon since Monday, but what I did yesterday was I put a trade on, if you, you take a look here, at the end of the day, very small position, right? As you can see in the matrix here, got two positions, two contracts. Again, in the E-mini S&P 500 contract, shorted it right in here. It's not working. Yet. All right, sorry about that. I've got my son in my office today, and it's right next to me on the other computer. So I'm short from right here. Okay, and the, it was based on the market really taking off yesterday. I think it's a dead cat bounce. I, I had a, uh, a suspicion that the market would open up lower. Um, and it did. It opened up here. So this is where it closed yesterday. It gapped down quite a bit. Let's see where exactly where it closed. It closed at 2073 and a quarter. Opened up 2058 and a quarter. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take off just one right now and see if the market starts breaking up through the green line and this dotted line, breaking up through this high here of 2054 and a half, I'll get out of the other one. So I'm just going to take one off the table right now. So I'm short, so I want to buy it. I'm just going to buy it at the market. Okay, let's realize some profit here. Right, as you can see, I took off one and closed out 887.50. All right, and profits trading. Well, took one off. I only had two. Again, went short here. Took that one contract off here, and I've got one remaining contract left. I want to see if the market comes back down and retests the low. I would suspect it's going to try. And we're going to take a look very closely at how the market. Uh, tests that low if it's able to retest if the market does not come down and retest this low and starts breaking through this high that was put in place at 1027 the high of uh, 2054 and a half starts breaking then I'm gonna exit the last position okay um, so let's just I'm gonna pause and I'll be back as things heat up here okay I am back and I am going to go ahead and take off the remaining portion of the, uh, my contracts here just going to buy one back and exit this trade altogether. I think this market is going to go higher, actually. Remember, FOMC meeting today at 2 o'clock. So let's just get rid of that. Order filled. All right, so here we go. You, see, you can see that on the matrix here. So I'm flat, as you can see in the matrix, right? We closed out $1,625, only trading two contracts. And that's shorting close to the... Here, let me back this up a little bit so you can see. Uh, just uh, let's see. So what did I shorted that at? A little after three o'clock yesterday, after this huge spike up, got extremely short term over overbought, and uh, and there we go. So the market did exactly what we anticipated for it to do, and that was to either open up lower, right, or to trade lower in the in the morning. It got extremely oversold and hit a a nice resistance level on the daily chart as well so let's see what happens uh, the remainder of the day let's see if this market's able to take out the high of the day if the market's able to take out the high of the day my projection is that we come up and try to test that high okay we'll see okay so hope that helps glad I'm back and I'll be putting out a video every day from now on bye for now